Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. First things first, I'm gonna preemptively apologize for what be a, m might be, I should say, a little bit of background noise in this video. Uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend in America, not in Canada, but I'm gonna give the people above me a little bit of leeway because it's a holiday, and they appear to be having traditional clog races upstairs. This is a run suggested by a YouTube user, uh, Creeper Breeding, or sorry, Creeper Breeder. Uh, and the run is called Finally Damage Up, so we're playing as Eve. I always complain about not getting damage upgrades as Eve. And we're gonna get Polyphemus Pentagram, Max's Head, Inner Eye, Book of Belial, Lard, SMB Superfan. So we got a lot of power here and a fair bit of health. Unfortunately, the catch is that we can't use any item rooms, we cannot go to any shops, and beyond that, um, we also, we can go to deal with the devil and angel rooms, but that's it. So the only w way for us to possibly gain any power is, is through that. So item rooms, shops, totally off limits, devil and angel, A-OK, -okay, and our goal, of course, as you might expect, is to beat Blue Baby. Now, I like runs like this. They're high risk, high reward. We got a lot of health to start with. I mean, presumably, considering, uh, what we've started with here. I am gonna use Book of Belial. Uh, and we've got a lot of power to start with, with, which is the other thing that I really enjoy. Thankfully, we did get a full health pill there. It was not a bad pill. Not a great pill, but not a bad pill either. So I'm thinking that this run is gonna be one of the runs that, uh, I mentioned a lot, where we start out doing a lot of damage, start out being, like, incredibly strong. Uh, the only question is whether boss rooms and, uh, deal with the angel rooms are gonna be enough to propel us, uh, to really, you know, that extra level that we need to be at in order to, uh, continue here. Now, I'm not gonna use any keys to go to item rooms in all likelihood, but what I am gonna do is just check out this one, because there it is anyway. So yeah, this run basically compensates Eve for all of the flaws that she normally has. Terrible damage, uh, dead bird is garbage and not enough to make up for that. Uh, do we even need to use Book of Belial here? I might better save it for a harder room on the next floor or something, because these guys are gonna die very quickly. Uh, yeah, and our damage is crazy and our health is totally good. Uh, however, you know, the compensation for that will be item rooms and shops are totally off limits. But, you know, you can still get items out of the crate here. Uh, get out of there, get out of there! Okay, we're alright, we're gonna get a little bit of money, a key, which maybe could be used to open a golden chest or something. Chariot is always a good card, luck toe, or lucky toe is not so bad. How about this pill? Bad trip, that cost us our spirit heart, but hey, we still came out of it with the, the chariot card, I guess. And a bomb and a key. Crate has the potential to be a great item, or uh, sometimes an item that just carries a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily need. So our damage should be through the roof. I mean, we're, we're dealing with Polyphemus here. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really know why Lard factored into it. Maybe like it was the speed down that uh, the the Creeper Breeder wanted to compensate for the extra damage that I would have. I don't know. We got double spiders here, so I'm just gonna get out of there. Um, but I have to go into those curse rooms just to see if maybe they'll give me a little bit more leverage to improve in the future. Now, I think it would be outside of the spirit of the competition. I'm gonna add my own rule here. I think it would be outside of the spirit of the competition for me to take any other book. I think we should have to stick with our space bar item that we started with here, so Book of Belial. So I'm not gonna waste a key going into the library. Instead, oh, it's, yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna hurt. Um, instead, I'm gonna stick with this item for the rest of the game. Well, the rest of, maybe not the rest of the game, but the rest of my life, however long that ends up being. And you know what I would actually love to get? Might be surprising, but I, I might not dislike Guppy's Tail. I mean, normally Guppy's Tail is pretty bad. We did a challenge run basically entirely hinging on Guppy's Tail, and it turned out quite poorly for us. That being said, uh, Guppy's Tail also has the potential to give us some more items here, because we're in a situation where only boss items are going to be reliable. Boss and deal with the devil, basically. I also think it would be outs- Ah, you know what? It's not really outside of the uh, spirit of the competition to get Mom's Knife or Brimstone. Uh, so we'll see if those are available if we do actually earn a deal with the devil here, which is perhaps unlikely considering I've taken a decent amount of damage. Hey, we got a range upgrade and a deal with the devil. I would almost welcome Krampus at this point. Uh, we have Spirit of the Night and the Mark. You know what? We always take Spirit of the Night. So who am I to break tradition? <laughs> Probably thought I was going to go for the Mark there, didn't you? Anyway, this ability to fly is going to serve us well as we move forward. The downside, of course, uh, is that we've lost some health. And this is going to be Caves XL. Uh, we, we've, we've lost a little bit of health there. We're down to three, like Isaac's base level. I mean, Eve's base level, I think, is two, so this is gonna be Maggie's Faith. I always forget what Maggie's Faith does, but I think it may provide us with Spirit Hearts. I think... I remember uh, before expressing, like, I don't really know what Maggie's Faith does, and then people were like, it gives you a Spirit Heart every time a regular heart would have dropped or something, and I was like, oh, I should really remember that because that would make it probably my favorite trinket in the entire game. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we can divine it as we move forward. Of course, anything that gave us Spirit Hearts would be incredibly valuable right now. Feeling pretty confident in this run so far, with the notable exception, or concern, 
uh, that we have very limited health, which is, of course, as always, a little bit of a problem. Still have this chariot card that I've not used yet. I'm just checking out the curse room to see if maybe we'll get lucky, get some spirit hearts or something here. Double pills could be amazing, could be terrible. Is kind of neutral, actually. But luckily, because we were flying, we didn't actually take any damage from going into that room. Very nice for us, indeed. So I... Oh, I forgot I could shoot over... You know what? I'm just going to speed this room up a little bit. And hopefully these guys will pop up. I really thought it would actually take out all three in one hit. I guess that was wishful thinking. Let's try this again. And there's only one left. And if I get him to pop up... There we go. He is dead. I forgot that I could fly, so I can pick up any items basically wherever I want. And enemies will die in one hit, which is beautiful. I really like this suggestion for a challenge run. Isaac's head is kind of cool as well. It's a nice little familiar, but it's not going to be that important for us. I should maybe start looking for secret rooms. I've been very bad about that lately. Uh, just like completely ignoring secret rooms. It's because I'm trying to, you know, keep in my head the conditions for the challenge run as well. Which sometimes can cost more brain power than I have to spend, shall we say. Especially if I've not had my morning six or seven cups of coffee yet, but anyway. These guys are going to be killed easily. I took some damage. Maybe not as easily as I thought, but hey, there's a spirit heart for us. Thank you, Maggie's Faith, which I will now attribute to every spirit heart drop, whether or not that is actually its effect. And we are going to move onwards here. I would like to get to the boss room as soon as possible, but hey, extra keys are important, because if we're going to beat Blue Baby, we are going to go to the chest, and the chest is going to be able to give us four items. Hopefully one of those items is the relic or something. I don't know. Hopefully we get the relic before that, actually. But for now... Uh, we're just kind of trucking along here, doing the best that we can. This should be super easy right here. Once these guys all enter the ooze state within one hit, uh, we should be able to send Polyphemus, like, through them, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a little bit too slow. Oh, there we go. We got a couple kills. Excellent. You are dead. You're not dead? How did I miss that? You should be dead now. Okay. So I don't really know how this run is going to go long term. I, I already feel a little bit like I've made a mistake taking Spirit of the Night, but I think... You know, two hearts is a lot, but we should be able to get two health upgrades from bosses. There have been times when the game has been kind of dickish to us, and on runs where I can only take boss room items and deal with the devil items, it's like, hey bro, we heard you could use an HP upgrade, so we threw them all in the trash at Isaac HQ. Didn't you hear? November 25th, the day of this recording, is uh, no HP upgrades day. You must have missed it on the, the Binding of Isaac subreddit. So we got nothing there. Well, we're amassing a lot of money. Sadly, we can't really use it for anything unless we, you know, come across a fortune teller or something, which I would love to play kind of uh, exhaustively in order to get as much HP as possible. So I already lost my spirit heart because I'm a big dongo. Uh, there's an item room. There's a lot of money. If I can get money equals power, that would be cool too. And we're just going to launch some precision shots here. Take out these douchebags. Oh, I thought that one was going to work for sure. Are you kidding me? How about this one? Nope. So much for precision shots. And we should be coming up to the boss rooms pretty soon. The real question is, I mean, the reason I wanted to find the boss rooms earlier is not just to avoid all of this... It's not really backtracking. I guess exploring on the level. But the, uh, the secondary reason, or even the primary reason, was so that I could fight a boss with Book of Belial, then go to some other rooms, get Book of Belial charged up again, and, and uh, do it again. But I think our damage is strong enough that it's not necessarily going to be a big problem unless we end up fighting some truly dickish enemies. Like, if we get the Fallen followed by um, Dickhole Enemy number one, uh, like Mask of Infamy or something. Although, uh, I guess we don't have Piercing Shots. We have Polyphemus, which is similar, but uh, I would love an extra bit of health as well. Demon Judgment is literally the opposite of what I wanted there. So who do we have first? Gertie should not require Book of Belial. Oh, man. Hopefully not. And hopefully Gertie will drop some health as well. Now, we are going to leave a uh, green thing alive there, unless Dead Bird chooses to take it out. The reason being, a uh, green thing, green nub, to keep, you know, nomenclature consistency, will frequently go off and actually hurt Gertie itself. That was a bad example of that. Uh, but Dead Bird doing its part. Oh! Okay. As you can see, it worked out a little bit there. Please, Gertie, drop some health and save my life. <laughs> uh, I see no red hearts and that worries me. How about you, Mr. Nub? Really? A range upgrade from this? Now I'm frightened a little bit. Uh, we could potentially see this really overpowered run come to an end prematurely. Oh, there is some red health back here. I should definitely go and get that before we fight the next boss. And maybe do some more exploring? Odds are, I think I'm more likely to find a red heart than I am to run across a room that's incredibly difficult and annoying. So we have trinkets back here. Maggie's Faith. I forget the other trinket. I think it was Isaac's head. It was only a half heart, but it's something. 
Sadly, cannot go to shops, cannot go to uh, item rooms. Which may uh, end up proving to be my demise here. I, I, I don't want to abuse the shop to, you know, pick up a blue candle or anything. I just want to go in there and buy a heart so I can survive through the fourth boss of the game. Sadly, no such luck. If only I was a little bit lower on health, I might be able to go to the boss trap room, which is not mentioned in the conditions, uh, either positively or negatively, uh, and thusly pick up a health upgrade or something. You know what we will do? Could have just lost a half health there uh, purposely, but again, outside of the spirit of the challenge, I would say. Ingenious, maybe, but outside of the spirit of the challenge. Let's see if the secret room is here, though. All right, so we have no legitimate means of gaining access to that boss trap room yet. Anyway, what I could do, I could play Demon Judgment and risk it. Um, but in order to do it, I would want to have like some insurance that there was a little extra health upgrade somewhere as well, like or just red heart refills, basically. And that's not gonna do it. You know what? Who dares wins? Let's go a little crazy. There's always the chance that Demon Judgment will pay off with only a single heart here. That's not how it worked out. But now we are capable of going to this boss trap room. And this is a heavy wager. I'm going to this boss trap room in the hopes that this is actually going to give us an HP upgrade, which will, which will take us up to two hearts immediately, and thus give us a little bit greater chance for survival against the, the bosses that we're going to have to deal with. Not only in here, but in the boss room as well. So this may prove to be a, a foolhardy gamble if we end up getting like a speed upgrade or something like that, but whatever it is, got to make it work. Uh, this is good enough. These spirit arts will, will allow us to survive a little bit longer. Hopefully long enough to beat the next boss. Or not the next boss, I should say, but the uh, the boss in the boss room, which we will save Book of Belial for, because Larry Jr. is coming up next. Uh, and that's easy enough for us. Uh, and yeah, basically, I, I think that was a smart decision. Might not end up being a huge game changer, but it's going to be a temporary lifesaver for sure. And we did manage to take no damage there. We picked up Ace of Spades, which means I'm not actually going to pick up the Ace of Spades. Although extra bicycle card drops could be useful. I, I'm relying on Maggie's faith just on the hunch that I remembered that it's supposed to be pretty important. Anyway, we're gonna drop this bad boy here. We get nothing. So we're gonna go far right, I guess, and we're gonna fight whatever this boss is. I can't believe that red heart drops have been so precious so far, like I've not dropped at all. But I'm liking this wrong run, it forced me to, not this wrong, what is this, like, let's play the ladder simulator? No, I'm liking this run so far. I think Creeper Breeder was onto a good, uh, a good track when he came up with this one. And sadly, we're gonna have little, actually, this is not sad, this is great right now. We're gonna have little Chad when we finish this fight. I should pop up Belial just because I haven't used it yet. Um, the reason this is great, of course, is because I've been struggling so far with respect to Red Hearts. So at least we're gonna have some means of replenishing our Red Hearts now. Which is gonna solve a lot of problems for me. I'm, I'm very pleased with that, actually. He's dead. We got an extra Red Heart just for killing him, or half a Red Heart at least. And we're going down to the next floor. Still no HP upgrades. Boggles my mind every time this happens. Oh my god, that's it! Maggie's Faith gives us an Eternal Heart every single floor. That could potentially be incredibly useful. That was, okay, so now I'll never forget that one again, he says before forgetting it again in probably the next episode. I'm just going to get these guys to come over here. They freak out a little bit, but if you just move into their line of sight, they will actually go for you uh, before too long. All right, so we take out the champion next. Thank you. He's going to give us a key, which is not really super important. These eternal hearts every floor, though, could be unbelievably important. And this now means that going into that boss room, or boss trap room, I should say, by playing Demon Judgment first, might have been the most significant move that I made in this video so far, because now, those spirit hearts are gonna serve to protect at least that first eternal heart, hopefully, uh, so that I can actually take it to the next floor and get some HP upgrades that, who knows, maybe I can trade in at, at Deals with the Devil. So, really, I can't stress enough that Squeezy there might have saved our lives and actually allowed us to have a chance at Blue Baby. Especially, again, if we can get some HP upgrades and then pick up Mom's Knife. That would be fantastic. So there we go. Back to full red health. Didn't think it would happen. We should probably pop Book of Belial in this room. We are on Depths Part 1 in case you're just listening to this, not actually watching what's happening. Well, you're missing quite the show here. Starting not to forget uh, how I hate Eve so much. It feels good. So we're going to get some more red hearts that I can't take right now. But hey, having extra red hearts on the level feels good, man. And our damage is starting to get to the point where it's not one-shotting enemies. We all knew it would come, but still, it, it feels bad, man. So I wanted to... I was really hoping to hit one of the bomb flies there and start a chain reaction. It basically worked out, though. And again, I'm not really looking for secret rooms. I guess I'm hoping to save these bombs for the Mom's Heart boss fight. We haven't really had a lot of bombs show up so far. So saving some might be important. And again, it's the kind of thing that might also be important when we uh, end up fighting 
Isaac and Blue Baby if for whatever reason I stop being able to do hefty damage against them. So this room is definitely heavy on keys. We're gonna pick up another key from that Tinted Rock. I was hoping for some Spirit Hearts, but I guess you can't always get what you want. And we're just gonna hang out over this hole right here. HANG OUT OVER THIS HOLE! The Northern Lion story! How to awkwardly proposition somebody for sex. Hey baby, can I hang out over your hole tonight? Well now you don't need to buy the book, you've already read the secret. God damn it, I need to reread how to win friends and influence people. Okay, Depths Part 1, who we got? Gish, this is a fantastic upgrade. Any ability to slow enemies allows us to do more damage to them. So it's basically like we got a damage upgrade here, but beyond that, it's also as if we got like a speed upgrade or something that allows us to uh, take less damage on bosses because in particular, being able to slow Isaac and Blue Baby is huge because it makes their shots slower, they fire less of them, and thus, they become substantially easier to dodge. I can't stress enough, Little Gish is probably the most effective familiar that, that I feel you can get in the game. Some people might feel differently, but uh, I think Little Gish is, is a huge predictor of success. So we're going to take Little Gish. We're going to get an HP upgrade from uh, Maggie's Faith just for being here, basically. We could do Forget Me Now. Could get Guppy's Tail. I know I mentioned that I wanted it earlier, but we're actually not going to buy anything there because I think these hearts are more precious. We're going to be fighting Mom on this floor. We all knew it would happen. And I think uh, we're going to be fairly confident of our success. Still got all these spirit hearts. We'll be able to uh, get another HP upgrade on the next floor, provided we don't lose all those spirit hearts and our health along with it. So far, so good. I'm, I'm liking this run. I like these these runs where you have to damage the fact or balance the fact that you have incredibly high offensive capabilities, but not very much in the terms of defensive capabilities. I hate runs where you have no offensive capabilities and you're supposed to compensate for that by having high defensive capabilities. I would rather face a boss fight where I can't afford to get hit, but can take out the boss quickly, than take a face a boss fight where I can get hit, you know, 50 times, but it takes me an hour to beat the boss. Now, at some point, you, you want to get a balance of both, just for variety's sake, I think, but uh, that's my personal preference. I will always prefer those runs where you have high offensive capability, but have to, you know, be very cautious with your resources. And I think this is well balanced so far. We're not incredibly overpowered. Part of that is because we didn't get Mom's Knife in that first boss room. Uh, we're not incredibly overpowered, but we're certainly not underpowered. Like, by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> we're probably a little overpowered at this point, but that can change drastically. Although we are coming up to the Great Equalizer, which is uh, the point at which, you know, it doesn't matter that we don't have shops or item rooms anymore, because shops and item rooms don't exist at this point in the game. So we could still be on the right track here. I'm just trying to balance this the right way. Thank you, Gish, for doing a little bit of slowing there. Much appreciated, of course. More bombs, always important for us, because we're going to use those in the Mom's Heart boss fight. And we were indeed going in the right way. Feels good, man, to predict it correctly on the first try. The big problem for me right now, no compass. That's going to be a pain in the ass on the womb, but hey, we got to Mom without really suffering from too many problems here. Which is great. So we're going to be fighting regular Mom. Book of Belial is going to get popped. We are going to do probably like 5% damage per hit to Mom. So we should be able to get through this fairly quickly. Maybe 5 is an exaggeration. Maybe it's 2.5. Uh, either way, you know, we're, we're tearing through it pretty quickly here. Doesn't take that long to do, you know, 25, 50 shots to Mom. I can't really afford to get hit again because I'll lose my HP upgrade or from the Eternal Heart on this floor. I mean, we'll get one on the... Oh, we will not get one on the next floor, actually. Because, of course, we're going to be giving up Maggie's Heart to get uh, the Polaroid, which is shitty. I mean, it has to happen, but still, I'm not a big fan of it. So I'm just going to focus mostly on dodging, because dodging will earn me an HP... Oh, no! If I had dodged perfectly, I would have gotten an HP upgrade from this boss fight. Oh, well. Shit happens. Instead, we get a speed upgrade. Is four hearts enough to make this work? Absolutely not. Let's try. <laughs> There's not much we can do about it, sadly. I mean... What did I... A spirit... I would have six hearts. Oh, that's... That's awful. We just got a health down pill. We would have six hard containers if I hadn't picked up Spirit of the Night. Now we would have five, I guess. Uh, that wouldn't have really made that all that much of a difference. I seriously can't believe, I mean, maybe I'm just be bitching here incessantly for no reason, but it seems like whenever I have these, like, or oftentimes when I have these boss item only runs, uh, I end up, oh, well, Bad Trip will eventually give us full health. Um, I oftentimes end up in situations where they're just like, oh, you need HP upgrades, have a speed upgrade and 10 range upgrades. I mean, Maggie's Faith, I probably could have used a little bit more effectively. Maybe? I guess I only missed out on the last floor's upgrade. There's still a chance. I think we can beat Mom's Heart. Isaac is going to be damn near impossible. 
I should, could probably use Book of Belial more effectively too. Yeah, but Isaac's gonna be very hard for us. Blue Baby, if we get to him, might actually be easier than Isaac because we'll have those four potentially good items in the chest. Oh man, of course we're gonna fight Conquest. The good news is, full health pill. Provided we, you know, end up getting into a position where we have to use it as a full health pill, which is kind of something that we don't want. The other good news is I should be able to hide from those, uh, you know, rays of light from heaven. But Conquest is still a fairly difficult boss fight. Let's put it this way, certainly no Skolex. We're gonna use that full health pill. I can afford to get hit another couple of times. Of course, I don't want to, but I, I can't afford it. Alright, amazingly didn't get hit by those rays from heaven. Come on, Conquest. He's Oh my god, okay, just chill out. Stay as far away as you can. Get him dead. There he goes. Okay, we got, uh, obviously, the white pony, which we can't take. That was, a, that was a quick floor, though. That's the only positive benefit that we have going for us there. And take it step by step here. Ooh, baby. Oh. Want to get with the girl. Uh... New kids on the block? Everyone knows new kids on the block, right? Or am I just at the point where I can start to be considered a little bit old? So that another... that's telepills. It could potentially take us to the boss room, so I think we should try it. We picked up a spirit heart as well, and you know, that spirit heart is of course exceptionally valuable to us right now, because we have no other means of making our health grow, except for little Chad, but that doesn't really make our heart containers grow, just our hearts in general. Okay, so we got double sloth here. This is almost worth Book of Belial. So by being almost worth Book of Belial, I'm going to use Book of Belial just to speed things up a little bit and make sure that I don't take any more damage than is absolutely necessary. He did reveal a golden chest to us, which I will open. It's Bob's rotten head. It's garbage. That's Tammy's head. We can't take it. Uh, oh, and there's the boss room. So telepills did end up working out. I would have been on a wild goose chase in the wrong direction if I hadn't used it. So again, Mom's heart, do we have a good chance? We have, we have a decent chance. I shouldn't get hit more than three times on this fight, and uh, I guess a little chat isn't going to hook us up. But, um, yeah, I shouldn't get hit more than three times in this fight. Stranger things have happened. Well, I guess I, I shouldn't get hit more than two times. Unfortunately, that's our limit there. Uh, we're just going to I, I don't have the bombs ready for this fight, which- or, sorry, Book of Belial ready for this fight, which is the main oversight that I made here. But again, we should still be fine. We're doing crazy damage with our shots. And if I finish this, like, if I, if I manage to beat- Mom's heart here. I will consider this run fairly successful, although with a twinge of, like, we could have done so much better. But it's not our fault totally 100%, or I should say. It's not my fault 100% that, that this run hasn't worked out completely for us. Neither is it Creeper Breeder's fault. I think he presented a very well-balanced run. Who could have predicted, you know, eight bosses, no health upgrades? Almost never happens. And Maggie's Faith ended up, you know, probably being a little bit too little too late, although I am very thankful for the extra HP upgrades we got. Mom's Heart boss fight went A-OK. -okay. Absolutely no problems there, at least so far. And now it is indeed over. We are gonna get back to full health, which is unfortunately the real problem, because full health is not enough health. And we're gonna see if we can't survive the cathedral here. Uh, obviously, we're gonna be dealing with some asshole rooms, asshole enemies, but not as bad as it would be if we were on the chest right now. We're just gonna keep moving around. Daddy Longlegs shouldn't survive too, too long, but it is, you know, a fairly robust enemy with respect to its health. Thankfully, it is now deceased, though, and we made it through that room without any problems. Spirit Hearts would be awesome right now, although that is also unlikely. Now, we have Curse of the Lost, or Curse of the Blind, so I can't actually tell uh, where the boss room is. I mean, we don't have a compass anyway, but it's always nice to have some kind of meter to tell. Oh, that's actually good. That's a full health pill at some point. Um... It's nice to have some kind of metric to know where you're going. There goes our spirit heart. I hate these rooms more than all other rooms. Thank you, Dead Bird. That was actually very nice of you. Now we're gonna see if we don't have anything good in this room right here. It's a golden chest. I think I've... Ugh. It's not worth the risk, unfortunately. It might be worth the risk if we start to find ourselves in an awful position very soon. But uh, as for right now, I'm in a fairly safe position, fairly secure. So I don't think there's any need to possibly throw my life away on a uh, mob trap room that is going to feature bosses, I think, at this point in the game. What is this? This must be a library. Again, I think that's outside of the spirit of the competition here to go with the library. So instead, we are going to come up and around here. Did we bend through here? No, we have not. Chain reaction did not work out the way I intended. I would love to use Book of Belial on this room, but oh! The sun card is very good for us, actually. Uh, I, I want to use that. I also want to use the bad trip pill to take us to full health. Now what I think we can do 
here's what I'm thinking. We'll take the bad trip pill. Remember, this will become full health when we get hit once. Obviously, we want to take the sun card with us, but I want to use that on the boss, if possible. But we might as well get maximum usage out of this bad trip pill, so we'll go into the mob trap. We can't go into the mob trap room yet. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll hold on to this as long as we can, but if it comes up down to it, we're going to go into that boss room with the sun card, because it also gives us the added benefit uh, of getting a little extra damage against the boss. It's just a smarter... Oh, well, here we go. We're in permanent curse state. But that's going to change. I did use our bad trip pill, so no need to do any more uh, theory crafting, I guess, about when that sun card is going to be, be coming in handy for us. Instead, we are just going to bounce out of here. We know we have some extra hearts available to us as well. Very intriguing run so far. Whether or not we're able to beat Isaac, it's been good, but obviously I would love to be able to beat Isaac. I think it's within the realm of possibility if little Gish gets some, you know, clutch slows off. I don't know why clutch slows off sounds so dirty, but it does. Um, oh, I can't believe I took damage there. I don't want to use the sun card just yet. Book of Belial is going to make us do so much damage to the boss. Good, we don't have to use the sun card because we're going to get back to full health here. Um, we're going to do so much damage to Isaac, and if we can keep him slowed and keep at a good distance, it's going to be huge for us. The real question, you know, is whether or not those ifs are going to pan out. I certainly hope so. What is this pill? Telepills. I, I can't take it because I need, even if it took us to the boss room, I need to hold on to the sun card. I have a feeling we're coming up to the boss room because we're, you know, going on a pretty long tangent here. Two of spades, doubles our keys, why not? 30 keys, beautiful. So important right now. I'm not using Book of Belial because I know that Isaac could be around the corner any minute now. And like I said, there's always the chance where after beating Isaac, Blue Baby could be easier because of the items we're going to get on the chest. And you notice I'm using, like, definitive uh, tense there. I'm saying, like, we're gonna get to the chest. I'm mad hasslebecking it right now. We'll take the ball and we'll score and we'll win. Um, I don't want temperance. The blood bag possibility is tempting. But the, the risk is great, too. I hate this room. It hasn't actually been that hard yet, but I, I still I hate the idea of this room. Oh, now we're gonna use the sun card. Because I have to to get back to full health. Alright. I was hoping that would last us to the boss room. Sadly, it lasted us until one room before the boss room. Here we go! Place your bets. I'm not sure if we can do it. I'm gonna get in line so that Gish can get her shots in there, or his shots in there. I don't know why I always think Gish is female. I guess Gish just sounds kind of like a female name. We're just standing still for the most part. The reason I'm standing still is not to because it's like some kind of zen dodging technique. It's because if I do this, I think Gish is gonna get more hits in, but we're getting very close to our own death here. One more hit will do it. And there it is! But well, we tried! That was a fairly good run. Uh, thank you again to Creeper Breeder for the suggestion. I always enjoy those high-powered offensive runs, but in any case, thank you guys for watching. Continue to make your challenge run suggestions. As always, I uh, look at them and do the ones I deem most appropriate from usually the top comments these days. But again, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.